Right on. It's Kiss, the hottest band in the world. Unplugged. It's 1995. This is a strange one by all accounts. There is a ton of context that goes into this show. Um, we're not going to cover that today because that could be that'd be like five videos all on its own. Um, we'd be here all night, all day, the next night, the day after that, and the night after that. So let's not touch it so quickly. Kiss in the 1990s smashed out a hit record, a real ripping comeback with Revenge, big singles, um, where would they go next? A darker alternative sound, perhaps? Anyway, no, they decided to just rock it out and go for some good time fun with an unplugged album which was the trend at the time um lots of bands did the old mtv unplugged to varying degrees of success um yeah it might sound like a cynical exercise but boy to kiss slam it and absolutely bring it home and deliver some goods let's roll with kiss Unplugged from 1995. Kaboom. It's such a good time. Just listening to this is so much fun. You can actually hear the band having a great time. Um, and it's infectious. They start off with Coming Home. Um, straight off the bat, great rockin'. Um, yeah, Paul Stanley is on point and totally wonderful on this. He really sells it and it's a great little blast. Great rocker to start things off. We've got Plaster Caster next. Um, <laughs> far out. I hate to think what the story behind the lyrics on this song are, but, um, yeah, they really sell it. And Gene, is, Gene Simmons is great on vocals and bass, and the rest of the band is on fire. They do Going Blind next, which is one of their oldest songs. Um, and boy, like, yeah, they dial the old beats per minute back a bit here. But um, Eric Singer on the drums, he just destroys this. Like, he throws in so many fills and so many great beats. Um, yeah, he is a superstar, uh, check it out, um, because of him, but yeah, the rest of the band is just destroying it. We got, speaking of destroying, we got Do You Love Me from Destroyer, um, yeah, well, do you love me? Well, do you, punk? Um, they smashed this. It sounds great. Really great vocals from Paul Stanley and um, awesome fun time for everybody. We have Domino next, a track from Revenge. And um, yeah, this is super fun. Uh, if you watch the video, um, they screw it up a few times before they kick into it. But um, yeah, good times, really good song and lots of fun. We have from Dynasty sure knows something like this song was great when it came out originally um very hard to improve but boy do they just breathe some life into this and um give it a shot in the arm and it's a real standout track and that's really saying something because a lot of these tracks are just absolute fire we've got a really weird one next which is world without heroes um, I didn't know this one going into the album because I didn't really know um, the particular album that it came from. And again, as I said before, like a story for another day, uh, one time we will go down the rabbit hole that is music from the elder. But here we go. Um, like they played this so well and... Like, a, you can just... Gene's vocal performance on this is is otherworldly, and the band just 
kill it. It is such a good track. Really introspective. Um, like given that they sort of modeled themselves on superheroes in the 70s, in the makeup and all that, and so on and so forth, and it's like a world without heroes, and a world without heroes is no place to be, and so forth. Yeah, this one's a solid thumper. It's, like I said, real introspective, and just comes out of nowhere, and yeah, it's a good listen. We have Rock bottom next this is from their dress to kill album which was their third studio album man this blows the roof off the dump like bang it is a thumper like nice little intro like a few nice acoustic riffs here and there of course well obviously for an acoustic show um but yeah, man, once they kick in, that this rocks so absolutely hard, it's ridiculous. And um, yeah, if anything else wasn't great already, this one's worth the price of admission. It is a thumper. We have See You Tonight after that with Gene Simmons taking the mic back. And um, wow, where did this come from? From what I understand, it's from Gene Simmons' solo album. Um, yeah, no, a really nice, cool tune. And a nice little pleasant placeholder, as it were, until things get really, really real. Which happens on the next track, which is I Still Love You. Uh, performed by Paul Stanley on the lead vocal. Boy, if you like power ballads, far out. You're in for a lot of power here as he just absolutely brings it home and knocks it out of knocks it out of the park on this one. Such a good vocal. Um wow, oh, just do yourself a favor and go listen to this yourself. It's really good. And um yeah, Paul Stanley's vocal's great. The band is great. Oh, it's a ripper. Um, they dial things back a bit, which is nice, on the next track, which is Every Time I Look At You, which is another ballad from Paul Stanley. And, um, yeah, this one is really sweet. Like, they bust out a string section. Um, so you've got um, violins and stuff in the background. Um, and it's a really nice, good-natured, fun song. And just super well played by the band and super well sung by Paul Stanley. And um, yeah, I can't say enough about this one. It's a really great track. And of course, it brings us to the, I guess, point of contention, which is where they bust out the old members of the band. Um, of course, they play 2000 Man with Ace Freely and... He's cool, you can and you can hear that he's cool. Um, and and it's a good song. They do Beth uh, with Peter Chris on lead vocal, and the you know he's always great. And the the actual guitar arrangement that they play on the song is sensational. It's really cool. Like they take the pianos and they're like, nah, man, we're playing it on guitar. And they do great. It's really cool stuff. Then, of course, we bring it home with a big old jam of nothing to lose and rock and roll all night. You want two? You want one drum kit in a band? Hell no. Two drum kits. And this is where we get um, Peter Chris and Eric Simmer, singer, both on drums. And it sounds huge. So we've got this last couple of songs to bring it on home. Um, yeah. It's great. Like, what can I say? Like, they really bring it home to a great finale with the original members, the current members of the band that were there at the time, Bruce Kulick, and Eric Singham, and yeah, they throw down for a big old jam at the end for two songs. 
Um, there are extra songs um, from this particular session. Um, you can get them on, like, we had an old videotape back in the 90s, which was uh, Kiss Unplugged from this session, and it had an extra song on it called Got to Choose. Um, nice land, a really good song. Not sure why that wasn't on the CD. Um, the only other place I found it is on this thing called Kissology, where Kiss just, and this is like part three of theirs. There's two other ones of these. Look out for part two, because there's this crazy interview with Ace Freely um, and the rest of the band, and it's hilarious. Um, but that's a story for another day, as it always is. But yeah, this Kissology, um, they include the complete show at Sony Studios in New York. Um, according to that, it's the 9th of August, 1995, or it's the 8th of September, depending on how you do your dates. They do some extra tracks. They do Heavens on Fire, Spit, Got a Thunder as well. So good times there. And of course, Got to Choose. So yeah, why the hell not? From the top, Kiss Unplugged. I love this. It is a fantastic CD. Um, I The first time I heard it, I hired it out or borrowed it from our local library. That was a thing back then. But um, it's great music from A to B, like acoustic music. Like Paul Stanley says in one of the interviews, if your song doesn't sound good on, on an acoustic guitar, then it's a crappy song, and bang, every song on here is gold. It is great stuff. Uh, if you haven't heard it, get on it. It's good fun. You won't regret it. And, um, yeah, like a lot of folks might think Kiss are a bunch of assholes and all that. That's not for me to talk about. Um, I reckon they're cool. They're good fun. They're one of my influences, and um, yeah, always enjoy listening to their music. So, if you can get a hold of it, get yourself some Kiss Unplugged, and um, yeah, good times. In the meantime, though, or in the interim, I should say, like and subscribe, and keep on rocking.